Welcome back. In case you just join us, this is Plots Politics, and we are moving from Lagos to Ondo State. With the Edo State governorship election done and dusted, all roads now lead to Ondo State as its governorship election is slated to hold on the 10th of October 2020. One of the candidates, Ejitayo Ojegede, while congratulating Godwin Obaseki, has urged the people of Ondo State to choose good governance in the upcoming polls. He also called on INEC and relevant security agencies to discharge their duties for the good of democracy in the state. However, before the people of Ondo head to the polls, are there any lessons to be learned from their Edo counterparts? Can the PDP replicate its victory in Ondo State? Joining us to discuss this is Bensin Enikwome, who is a chieftain of the PDP. Good evening, Mr. Enikwome. Good evening. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Good to have you. It's unfortunate that you are not able to make it to our studio tonight. You and uh, so sad indeed. So okay, sad and, indeed. and uh, we are also being joined by the former uh, member of uh, House of Assembly and immediate past chairman of Ilaje local government area in Ondo State, Mr. Otito Atikashi. Good evening. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Uh, let me start with... Um, the chieftain of PDP who actually made this statement and according to your candidate. Uh, people would say that uh, the two issues are not the same. So where, <laughs> let me use the parlance here, where is your bragging right coming from? Let me start with Mr. Nikome. Well, the, the statement made by Mr. Yastai Ojegade SCN uh, we have no reason to be faulted. Now, first, he congratulated uh, Dr. Basaki for his victory and requested that that which was done in Edo State must be replicated in Ondo State. In other words, INET must live up to expectations the police must do the right thing. And then urging the people to make the right decision. In other words, the way the people in Edo State did it, that is the way they should do. How did they do it in Edo State? They voted and they ensured that their vote counted. They stood by their vote. They did not allow any help to take away their vote. So the two statements are complementary. INEP doing its own, police doing their own, and the people doing their own, and ensuring that they choose a very credible, reliable, defendable candidate. Ethiopia was just being um, modest by not flaunting his pedigree he, he, he knows the people know him, and therefore he told them, as a wise man, make the right choice. And I think the two statements are complementary. There is nothing that is wrong okay. in the statement. Okay. I, I, I probably didn't say anything was wrong. I just wanted to know whether um, they can replicate, because what they replicated or what they did in a do state, that's what I mean by the situation is different. But I'll come back to you for more clarity. I'll come back to you for more clarity on that. Mr. Atikashi, uh, do you notice any, you know, potent uh, fear that what happened in a do state should call for concern in your party? There is no basis for me to nurse any fear in a do state as far as... Uh, governorship elections concerned because I know for sure and by the grace of God we are go going to coast home to victory in APC. The reasons are very palpable, very clear, audible to the dead and clear to and uh, palpable to the blind because the situations are not the same. On those states, it's a peculiar state. 
our peculiarity is different from Edo State. And the reason being that zoning arrangement is one of the fundamental factors that determine that determines how election is won in those states. The central spent eight years, on broken eight years, through Governor Mimiko, and the other together was the Attorney General in that government. Thereafter, Aketi came. Now, Aketi has spent three and a half years. Apart from this zoning arrangement that Aketi is going to spend another four years, so that the team will come to the south, Aketi has performed to the ad admiration of Undo State people because two things are involved. The zoning arrangements, are you, swim are you swimming against the tide as a candidate of a party? That's the question. Have you performed as an equal rank governor? And the answers are these. Either they get there swimming and get the tide as far as zoning arrangement is concerned in those states. And coming to the performances of Mr. Governor, it is crystal clear to everybody that Mr. Governor has tried his best within, within three and a half years in the saddle. And the developmental strides are there. The projects are there. You, it, 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 it is not what you preach. They are not what you preach. They are what you can see palpably. Okay. You can feel them. Today he was in a dory and he opened a commission. Okay. The Honorable Tito. Honorable Tito, the we, best. we have lost so much time. Uh, so Koko. I want us to be very fast about our comments. Uh, I think your opening remark is quite clear. Let me go back to uh, uh, Mr. Benson uh, Nikome. Uh, can you just put us through? He has mentioned the issue of zoning as a critical factor. Then when we also look at, uh, uh, um, probably might not be a very good excuse, what happened four years ago, your party explained that because of the internal wrangling you had, Itai Ojagede was not able to come up with a strong showing. So what is different this time that gives your candidate a, a, a very good uh, stand? I'm talking about um, Benson and Nikome. Well, let me make it abundantly clear that zoning alone, which is unwritten, is not the only parameter for the purpose of winning an election. In 2003, Dr. Adagu defeated Chief Adebayo Adeparati. Adebayo Adeparati had just spent four years. If we go by what Honorable Otito Atikashi has said, it meant that Adebayo Adeparati should have been allowed to stay for eight years. That never happened. Dr. Adagu again spent four years. And Dr. Mimiko from Central recorded at the uh, Adebayo Adeparati from the North. Adagu didn't complete eight years. And then Dr. Mimiko took over and won the election. He spent eight straight years. Now, what happens is this. Your performance will determine whether the people will give you opportunity or not. And that leads me to the issue raised by Honorable Atikashi that Governor Aketi, Akere Dulu, uh, performed excellently well. I am sure that Honorable Tito knows that I know him. We are from the same local government. I urge him to mention a single project in the larger that uh, the government of APC performed or did. And I think you should not go to the water project at Abutu. Because the water project in Abutu began with Dr. Mimiko and he commissioned that project before he left. Now, the road project going to Ibokot, going to Ayeturu, there is no single touch about it. The road project that they said they want to construct from Araromi to Ibejuleki, that North Akodo, not a single thing has been done about it. The bypass from 
Odeaye Junction to Kitipupa, leading down to the university. They only did a kilometer or so within that about a 20 kilometer road. And they begin to flaunt that. But when you go to Igoda and you traverse all through, coming to Eringe, it is a work in progress which has not been completed. And this is what the government flaunts. Yes, you can talk about what they have done in Ore. In, in, in Ore. The road, the, the overhead bridge. That is without. But okay. the Humunga Court. Okay. It's about 100 meters and it spent 5.6 billion. If you talk about what they have done in Owo, yes, I don't doubt it. Owo is the local government of the governor. Okay. And the governor can do so much in his own local Mr. government. Mr. Nikome. When you go to Akoko, I... there are no issues there. Mr. Nikome. The performance, Akesi is not a thing to come home with. Okay, so. You've been, you've been able to convert the point of uh, rotational power, and uh, you also mentioned the fact that, as far as you're concerned, he hasn't performed. But because of time, because of time, let, let me quickly take one minute each from both of you. Let me start with uh, uh, Mr. Honorable Tito. Um, I almost said that, uh, just tell us the truth, which you stand for. How yep. do you think this election will turn out. If you want to be sincere, do you expect a stiff opposition? Don't forget, when the deputy moved to PDP, we still have Jegede emerged. That tells you that... Okay, let me not preempt your response. What... Yeah, don't preempt my... Please, let me quickly, okay. let me quickly respond to what you just said. You see, he has even said it very clearly, that... Zoning does not favor Jegede because Jegede and Mimiko are from the uh, uh, central central district. What about Mimiko performance? Eight so. years. Our concern so. here is not about individual spending uh, four years, four years. We are talking about individual spending eight years. And Mimiko has started it. And now that Mimiko is from central, central has spent its own eight years. Let an individual two in the north spend eight years. So that by the time we come to the south, where I belong, we also have the opportunity of spending eight years. That is about that. What about now, performance? Now, coming to about development, Paris uh, uh, knows very well that this is the first time a sitting governor will give a larger local government deputy governorship. In fact, in his unit, and I want, I want to promise you that in his unit, he will not get one vote because a is determined. A larger is ready. A larger is one of the local governments in Ondo State that, that has the highest number of votes. That's about that. Now, coming to development. Dr. Enugwe may sat with Mimiko in Ondo State. And Mimiko abandoned on the on, uh, University of Science and Technology in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Okipa for 80 years. He abandoned it. Now, Mr. Governor Aketi has, uh, has, has, has built that place to an enviable level. Okay. As we speak, he said, as we mentioned, one project in Laje. Let me just tell him that if he doesn't know, he can drive his motor, his car, from Atijere to Agoto, as we speak today. Atijere is part of the Lajero okay, government. Okay, since he just asked you to mention one, one, that would be fine. Road net, that would be road fine. Road network problem. Since he asked you to mention one, it's okay. Atijere has been, has been linked with the Lajero because of that route. Honorable so, Tito, thank you. development in, 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 in I, I general, told you, we don't have I, the time I, 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 to take... All your comments. Let me Please, thank you, you, sir. Thank you, so you board, thank you so much. Thank you so much. The government, uh, uh, Okay, let me quickly move over to Ben Singh. In the cover. Thank you. And at the end of the day, I think you can hear me now. Please, can we please allow your the counterpart to speak? So. Mr. Nikome, please, uh, in 60 seconds, uh, I can, what about um, the issue of incumbency? Is it not going to affect your uh, chances? I, I, I can understand the angle from which Honorable Tito Atikasi is speaking. For us, we will lay the facts bare before the people. We are looking for a credible, dependable, reliable candidate. And Eita Ejegede is that particular candidate. I am from on the south. 
if we have a governorship candidate from on the south that is credible and reliable, definitely I will go for that person. Okay. But in our party, we conducted a primary. There were so many persons from Ondo, South Territorial District. And Eita Ojegede dusted every one of them. It was different from the imposition that Dr. Mimiko did in 2016. This was an election. It was held and adjourned to be free and fair. I, I, I will need to assist Plus TV Africa. I won't mind sponsoring it for us to go and see the Atijere road that okay. Honorable Batikate said has been completed. If you know I'm from Ilaje, that that cannot be true. If constructions are going on, you don't say the job has been completed. That's not true. Okay, thank you so and much, uh, Mr. Benson. I'm so sorry my time this is, is not out. Fair. My time is up. I wish we could continue this conversation. This has been my fear. But trust me, the conversation continues. On our, our, we put our, uh, our searchlight on Ondo. That is the next election. We'll definitely have time to speak to both of you in the days to come. Thank you so much once again. It's a pleasure. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for staying with us. We'll take a short break now. And when we return, I'll be giving my take. Please, don't go anywhere. It's time for my take. The issue of gut federalism is one that robs the electorate of their power. It presents the stooge of the leader and renders him or her almost completely powerless. It can also brew crises and trouble in the area involved, as we see in a do state. Oshomole and Obaseki fell out and drum beats of war could be heard from the state. Leading up to the election, the prevalence of violence took a new turn and many began to predict the worst for the D-Day. But thank goodness, the election was largely peaceful and the hashtag Edonobilegos began to trend. But excuse me, while I go back to four years ago, Obaseki's first emergence was largely due to Godfadarism. So the hashtag is not totally true. I believe Godfadarism has tried for so long in our society because of poverty, mainly. If the majority of Nigerians lived satisfactory lives, empty promises of a stood with a powerful Godfather would not be enough to get him or her into office. And as regards Ondo State, I hope lessons have been learned from the Edo State election journey. To the governor who wants to retain a seat, what have you done for the state? What else do you want to achieve? And for the other candidates vying for the same election, what are you bringing to the table? The ability to effectively and clearly answer these questions will point the Ondo people in the right direction. This is not the time to slander your opponents to get vote. Tell us your plan, and we will be convinced or not convinced. And that is my take. Plus Politics returns tomorrow, same time, on the same station. I remain yours truly, Kayodi Ladendi, saying bye for now.